Steve Carlsberg. Crashing on your couch for a week because technically I'm homeless. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. what? I can't take this anymore. I think I need to leave Night Vale. Wait, that must mean... Carlos is the imposter. Carlos. Where am I? Where am I? It's okay. Carlos. It's gone forever. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Hi, Diego. It's Carlos. We have uh, Kevin here. Hi, Diego! Fine. Yeah, we'll make the exchange. But all we gotta do is go back through the portal. Uh, what? No, 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 it's right here, it's right here, where's he gone? Do you remember when we were uh, back in the flooded building? Mm -hmm. And you went back upstairs, but I stayed down. I think I saw the fish monster. What, the one, the one that's in the pipes? Yeah, the, um, one of some pipes. But I've never seen it bow to anyone before, so I think that's a good sign. Huh. Is this, does this lead to the reservoir? I think so. Maybe we'll see the fish monster. No, or or, or we, we could just, we could go back. Or we could go through here. Have a nice little romantic afternoon. Really romantic? Yeah, just the two of us. Here we go. seen this place before? I mean, clearly someone's been through here. Why would the gate be open? Unless I came out. <sighs> I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe it can be our special place. What do you think about us? <laughs> you hear that? We should go check it out. No, 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 no. Or, or, or we should, we should not. <laughs> well, cause you're a chicken. No. I'll, I'll go by myself. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not chicken. <laughs> well, then you should go. Double dare you. I don't see anything. Earl? Earl?
Morning. Morning. Guess who might have found something? You want to see it? Absolutely. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I have been up pretty much all night. Mm. Uh, um, I got some notes here, but long and short of it, there was a disappearance in Nightville. I know there have been a lot of disappearances in Nightville, but this particular one, about two decades ago, something to do with a tunnel, a portal. Uh, I've extrapolated the data. Oh. And it <sighs> seems like we need to speak to Earl Harlan. Earl. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's just so bizarre. I just woke up from a dream about Earl. <laughs> well, maybe that is a sign that we need to speak to Earl. Uh, you can go speak to Earl. I have to go to work. Uh, of course you do. All right, you're going to go to work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak to Earl Harlan, find out what I can about this Kevin and Steve thing. Mm -hmm. And when I get back, I can tell you about all the science that I've done. Oh. <laughs> you it, can. It is so nice to have you home with me. Please, please, Steve. I have missed you so much. Please don't leave me alone, please. I've missed you too, husband. <laughs> can you just, um, can you just say that again? What? Husband? Yeah. <laughs> I waited, and I guess I got you. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Thinking about it, mm -hmm. is there anything that you remember about Earl when you were young that I, you think I should know? Anything at all? Uh, not really. Oh, uh, he was my childhood sweetheart, if that changes anything. I mean, we weren't really serious, like we used to go running through quarries together and, and chasing oh. one another and swimming naked in, in reservoirs and whatnot. He had this, he had freckles and they were, they were, they were everywhere. And then the incident happened and he went missing and he, he came back and, oh God, when he came back, he was rugged and covered in scars and exuded this, this testosterone. You, you know he's married with a wife and kid, right? Yeah, and then I tried to seduce him, and he was like, I don't know who you are, and so I kept going, and that's when he got me arrested and had a restraining order put on me, which is why you're going to go see Earl, and I'm going to go to work. Because mm. legally I'm not allowed near him. That's great. That's really great. So you enjoy seeing Earl? Yes, and you enjoy work, which you're going to be late for if you don't go now, so... <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you too. I will. Speak <laughs> to Earl Harlan. Mm -hmm. And I will be back, husband. Husband. <laughs> yes, you are my husband. For mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Go. Go. You're gonna be late. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, obviously. And little did we know that the threat would come from the sunken city below us. And with envious eyes, they drew their plans against us. Welcome to Night Vale. Good evening, listeners. Once again, it is phenomenal to be back on the air with you all. We're going to go straight to our top story, our most pressing news, which is that Steve, I'm not done Carlsberg, is still missing. <laughs> not that I particularly care, of course. Yes, technically Steve is family, and he has saved my life on multiple occasions. And he goes out his way to leave me scones every Thursday on my doorstep, neatly wrapped in a perfect wicker basket. Fresh, moist, and still warm out the oven. Against the law, maybe. 
but I don't care that Steve is missing. So we'll continue on to our next story, which is about the river running green. Usually this time of year, it should be a wonderful sunshine yellow. However, green is the color of the river at the moment, and we all know what that means. It's Sacrifice Friday! So make sure you bring down the 13 Mark children to the ritual site, and from there, um, uh, which... Oh, God, I lost it again. I'm so sorry. I'm usually better at this. No, I, 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 I... I'm sorry. I messed up. I'm so sorry. Please just beat me and get it over with. No, it's fine. I thought you did well great. Really? Yeah, you had like the, you know, the projection and the enunciation. Like, I, I thought it was great. Well done. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's okay. You got, you're very talented. You got any more of the talents or skills or... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Look. You got arms! You, you, well, yeah, but I've got more than that! You got more arms! Somewhere! Uh, yeah, in a trunk at home, but... No, no, look! Look! One of what, them uh, is... Is left! No... <laughs> well, yeah, but no, one of them is longer than the other. No! Yeah! Shut up! No, it is! Look, okay, I'm gonna measure... Okay, look at that one. Yeah, measures to that. Yeah? And that... Oh. It's longer, right? But, 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 you can't tell if I do this. Yeah, you're right, I can. <laughs> right? I cannot see a difference. You can't see a difference because you've got so much hair in your face. <laughs> it's like you'd be able to see it perfectly if you just moved. Oh my god. What? Mm. What? Are they okay? Uh, yeah. Is it, no, they're what's wrong? Great. No, they're, well, no. They got, what, they got uh, herpes? Or no, no, no. They're just, um, what? They're just, they're real pretty. <laughs> oh, like they're, they're, they're super neat. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> you got pretty eyes too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I like the way, you know, that they, uh, see. Yeah. yeah move and they do 360 and they gotta go. Uh, 360? Yeah, they go 360 in my skull. But also, they like, you know, that thing that, is that the blood thing? Oh, the, the bleeding! Yeah, the bleeding! I, I, I've been doing that since birth! It's just natural! Huh! <laughs> Neat! <laughs> you okay? It's gone! It's fine! Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, come on! It's okay! No. No, it's not okay, because clearly no one's looking for us. What? They're not looking. No one's looking for us, right? Am I? Uh, no. no. No one's looking for us, because um, we're going to be stuck here, because no one, no one cares about us. No, come on. Of course they're still looking for us. Don't give up hope. Like, we've only been here, what? Uh, we've only been here five months. Two days. They've been missing for two days, and you know, after the first 48 hours, the chances of finding anyone decrease significantly, and for some reason, Cecil really wants to find Steve. Oh, Cecil's brother, Steve, right. Why would you bring up Cecil? I just know Cecil a lot better than I know Steve. A lot better? Like, a lot? Biblically, anatomically, scientifically? <laughs> well, I mean, the first time I met Cecil, he tried to mount me in public. Oh, he does that to me then... all the time. It was the thirteenth time when it started to get a bit ridiculous, you know, he never properly introduced himself. Then he started following me to and from work. He would scream at anyone who went near my bike. He screams at home a lot. He, uh, he would break into my house and put things in my shampoo to make my hair softer. Yeah. Well, you know, he doesn't have to do that to me because my hair's already so, uh, perfect. Uh, yeah, I thought he hated it short, though. But. Anyway, I had to draw the line when he showed up naked in my backyard with the 12-foot corpse of a fish monster screaming, Do you remember me now, Earl? Because I didn't, and it traumatized my wife and child, and that's when I had to get the restraining order. Well, you know how it is. He does things for me all the time. Just last month on our anniversary, anniversary he uh, he threw me a ritual. Oh, he used to do little rituals in my backyard all the this time was, as well. This was a big ritual. Big ritual. He resurrected Clark Gable. Who? And now he's just uh, in our downstairs bathroom as a zombie. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with uh, Steve being missing? 
Oh, yeah, the investigation. Yeah, uh, do you mind if I record this? Oh, no, go ahead. <sighs> Steve and Kevin, you, you know Kevin. Kevin doesn't, what, no, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. They've been missing for two days, and, you know, it's really important. I think it's got something to do with what happened to you. So, if you can, I just need you to remember anything, anything you can tell me. I mean, it was a really foggy time for me. Seriously, Earl, just, just deep breath, think about it. I, anything you can tell me would really, really help. So just concentrate. It was a, it was a long time ago. It was a long... with them. Okay. It, it, it's gonna kill them if you don't get them out. We're gonna get them out. We're gonna get them out. <laughs> and it turns out, listeners, that that is the exact reason why the river is turning green. If you kill the elder deity fish god that protects the reservoir, then you will be punished as a civilization through the decapitation and slaughter and ritual crucifixion of the fish god we are now going into drought season but there is good news on the horizon because water is now privatized so you will still be able to get listeners <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to know if anyone else can hear these odd signals coming through the airwaves. The disembodied voice. You're hearing me back. Oh, thanks. Steve. Well, you see, the government. Steve. They're putting little, like, molecules inside the shampoo. Steve, is that what? You? Yeah! Really? Yeah! So, when you use. <laughs> A moment as we go to a word from our sponsors, Zombie Clark Gable. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, of course, intern and p My name is- No, 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 don't, don't tell me, I'll, I'll remember. I mean, it's not like I've been here three years or anything, but I mean, I got you a coffee because I saw that, um, you. you, sorry, can I just, um, oh, you were running out, so I just thought I'd get you another one. Oh, 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 God, oh. Patricia. Oh, oh, let me, please, let me get that for you. Oh, my no, goodness. You really don't. Oh, no, <clears throat> oh, 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 God, it's bad, oh, God, like, it's like soaking all the way through your pants, and it's like going down to your knees, oh, my, that's, that's, that, you know, like, how water's been privatized? That's like 20 bucks in your crotch right now, I'm so sorry. Are you oh. saying my crotch is only worth 20 bucks? Oh, I mean, I couldn't put a price on that. Oh, this, I'm just taking a whole one, right? And I'm still gay. I'm still an intern. Who could think why? Okay, um, um, I'll leave you to it. You've got your coffee. If you need anything else, like any, any more coffee, because what I do, or if you need, like, dry cleaning or Patricia, anything. Patricia, yeah. Patricia, mm -hmm. I'm all right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> and that was a word from our sponsors, Zombie Clark Gable live from my downstairs bathroom. And now... Oh my god, I, I forgot your mug! Oh, oh, we live? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry! Uh, hi, Mom! Hi! Oh, uh, I'm gonna go! You, you, 
carry on at Cecil Palmer! Ha ah, ha, yay! <laughs> oh god! And that was our intern, Patricia. And now, listeners, we're going. How are we feeling, Cecil? Please excuse me, listeners. I just need a moment to call my husband up and uh, speak to him, so I'm going to call my husband. Lonely. Miserable. Forgotten. I'm going, I'm going to call my husband. Carlos. I'm sorry, I'm not well today. I'm not feeling myself. And now I will take you to the weather. This is not Diego. You can't trust it. It's not it is, but if it is, it isn't. Bite me, Kevin. Come on, it isn't. You can't trust this thing. It's imitating them. It's imitating what you want to see. Mm -hmm. My double dare badge at Scouts, mm -mm. so I double dare you to do it. No. Unless you're a chicken. No, I'm, I'm not a chicken. You're a chicken? No. You're a chicken? No, I'm not a chicken. I'm not a chicken! Fine, I'll eat it. Oh. Is it okay? No. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a unique texture. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh. oh man, that doesn't look like food anymore. <laughs> okay. You know, I used to bake all the time. Mm -hmm. and on, on Thursdays, <laughs> I would bake scones that I would then like put on Cecil's doorstep. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, do it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We should probably uh, head back to the fort soon. No, 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 we shouldn't. No, what? What, 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 what we should be doing is, is coming up with like, like, a, like a weekly schedule, you know, a Monday to Friday that, that, that we all abide by and, and it's structured and, and, and it leads up and, and we all know what we're doing at all times. It goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and goes to the weekend. Weekend! <laughs> Given that's not gonna work here, we gotta, you know, just take things day by day. You can't really plan. But hey! We got each other, right? Mm, I got yeah. you and you got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got it. We got this. Come on, bring it in. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, slow down there, cowboy. What? 
What are you doing? Why, why are you putting your body against mine? <laughs> that was a hug, you know? It's, it's a sign of friendship and affection and maybe more. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, disgusting! <laughs> you should do it again. Maybe more. Okay. <laughs> this is a message for Steve Carlsberg and Kevin. That's us! That's us! <laughs> and you can hear me, this is Carlos broadcasting from Nightmare Radio Station. Where you're stuck, you're in between worlds. But if you can get to the radio station, then what I've wired up, you should be able to speak to us. We can take it from there. Get to the radio station. And be careful, because you're not alone. <sighs> we did it. Yes. <laughs> we did what we can do. And explain to me again what we did. <laughs> okay, I know you like this bit, okay? So, according to my calculations, mm -hmm. Kevin and Steve didn't get through the portal to the other side. So instead, they're, they're sort of... They're sort of... In an upside down. No, it's, it's more like a... In between. <laughs> so... Hopefully, that means that they can get to the radio station in the in-between. And then according to what I've wired up, they should be able to broadcast straight to your radio and we can speak to them. Because they can use the microphone to talk to us. Exactly. Oh and then we can get them back <laughs> somehow. We'll you, figure it out from there. You are so smart. <laughs> ah, you know, there's nothing we can't do together. But time is relative, mm. which means... I don't know what time they're going to get there. And mm -hmm. someone's going to have to stay here all night. I can do it, if you like. No, 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 no. You have been working too hard on everything to help. And you need sleep. You need sleep too. No, you need sleep more. I will stay here and I will okay. do my job. Okay. And I will see you at home. Sure. Mm, before I go, you called me here for a reason, and I brought this along with me. But uh, what did you want to? What did you want to talk about? You've distracted me with everything. I can't remember. <laughs> you it, sure? You sure it's not important? It couldn't have been important if I'd forgotten. <laughs> okay. If you're sure. I'm sure. If you need anything, you call me back here. And I will. Okay, okay, okay. Go home. Hmm. If you get tired, just call me I'll call switch you out. You and okay. I'll <laughs> come. Okay, I'm just happy to have you back. You too. <laughs> You're everything to me. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I don't even want to lose you again. <laughs> Alright. I love you. I love you. I will see you later. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Tell me, Susan. Listener is was our special guest. I can help you with that, you know. You just take two of these and you'll forget everything. That was our special guest. You'll forget all about the pain, all about the people who don't care about you. All about how your perfect Carlos never came back. Um, let us go now to the um, to the weather. To the weather. 
Won't you say? 